Hello everyone. Today we will talk about a question that is asked uh, in some product based company and that question is totally based on stock market. So firstly I will tell you what is the question all about. So question starts with a table that this is a table of the stocks and this is the output that we want. So firstly I will explain you how this output is coming. So basically in stock market we have in this stock market table we have to make the best buy date best sell date to make a maximum profit so in case of vikas life care on which date vikas life care is of the at the lowest price so vikas life care on 7 september is on the lowest price so if i will buy vikas life care on 7 september and if i will sell it on 8 September, at that point of time, I will make a maximum profit of 25 paisa. On and in all other dates, I will not make that much profit. So if I will buy it on 7 and sell it on 8, then I will make a maximum profit. So what in case of Vikas life here, our buy date will be 7 September, buy price will be 5 rupees, sell date will be 8 September and sell price will be 5.25 rupees. So we have made a total profit of 0.25 pesa. Now, in case of global space technology, so when we come on global space technology, firstly we will see that on this date it is at lowest price. So on 20 September 39.75 rupees, it is at lowest price. But after 20 September, there is no listed place of global space technologies so we also know that if we have buyed a stock so we can sell it only after the buy date so if i will buy this global space technology at lowest price on 20 so then when i will sell it so there is no sell date so buy date must be less than the sell date so according to this on 30 of august it has the minimum price 42 rupees and the maximum sell price will be on 5 September. So in case of global space technologies, we got 30 August as the buy price, best buy price, and on 5 September, best sell price. So we made a profit of 5.05 rupees. Now in case of Zomato, when we talk about Zomato, Zomato on 20 or 2 September was of 63.30 rupees. And Zomato on 23 of September was decreased to 3.30. So we don't have any profit in this because we are doing a loss. So this is all about. So we have to make this table to this table. So this question is all about. We have to find out the best buy date and the best sell date along with the best buy price and best sell price to make a maximum profit. So now how we will approach this question? So to approach this question, we have to know what is self-drive. So self join is already a topic in itself. It's a very good topic and you must aware about self join. So now what I will do, I will just make two references of my table. As you all of you know that when we are using self join, we have to make two references of the same table. So firstly, what I will do, I will write select, I will write star, I will write form, and I will write stocks, my table name, and I will give a reference as B, B for buy, and I will join it with stocks only, I will join it with stocks only, and this time I will give a reference as S. So S will be a reference for sell. Now I will join them on on stock ID because why I will join them on stock ID because the stock ID will be the joining bar. So stock ID will be the joining bar. So I what I will write I will write B dot stock ID is equal to sell dot stock ID. Now we have joined the both the tables, but we know that by date must be less than sell date. So we will make a one more condition with the AND clause that B dot stock date, which means B dot buy date is less than 
s dot stock date which means s dot sell date so now with this query we will get all the all the recalls based on these two conditions their id is equal to the sell dot stock id and date is less than buying date is much less than the sell date so now there are those records we will get so in this scenario we will not get this this record global space technology record we will not get because it has a buy date less greater than the sell date so we will not get this record so now what we will do now you have to take out the four conditions four conditions are just i will show you the four thing just wait now i have to take out this stock id firstly i will write b dot stock id so for stock id you can get i give any reference you can give sell reference also s dot stock id also and b dot stock id also so i will write b dot stock stock id <coughs> comma my b dot stock name so it will be my stock name now for the buy date for the best buy date what you will write you will write b dot stock date as buy date because buying date b dot stock date will be the buying date comma b dot stock price as buy price buy price comma we want sell date so s dot say for sl we have given give a reference of s is s s dot stock date as sell date comma after this we will talk about sell price so s dot stock price as sell price we are just giving references and that column of the table so it is very simple sell price after this i want profit so what will be my profit so my profit will be what is the profit sell date sir sell price minus buy price so s dot stock price minus b dot stock price as profit so now we have taken out all the things that we want now the thing is we want to have a maximum profit so how we will take care of that maximum profit thing that for that maximum profit thing we will make a window function we will make a window function and that window function we will make on this stock price thing so what we will do we will just write rank and we will write over and then we will go inside it and we'll write order order by and this thing because we have to take out the maximum profit then so we will write this thing and then descending so what it will do it will may take out my maximum profit at the top and it will rank it according to the rank 1 now i have to take out for all the like all the stocks so at that point of time i will do a partition by my stock name because i have to take out all the ranks for all the stock name for example in vikas life there uh, maybe there are seven to eight type of profits or losses so we want the maximum profit so vikas life care will be a window vikas life care will in vikas life care window the first rank will be given to the maximum profit thing and the last rank will be given to the less profit thing so just we will run this thing so just give me a, i am giving a alias also as rank now i will run this just i have done something wrong okay i have not given this thing b dot stock so now you are able to see in global space technology there is a web window there is a window and window is because of this partition by so stock name partition by we are getting first rank as 
the best buy date and best sell price, we got first rank. And we got 15th rank to the thing where the profit is minus 7.30 rupees. After this, the Vikas Life Care, there is a window. For the Vikas Life Care window, we got first rank on uh, 7 September and 8 September, 25 Pratha, and last on 10th rank on 0 per rupee. So by this, we have made a window. Now, in this thing, in this thing only, we will filter only the filter only the records who have rank one. So firstly, we will make this thing a CT with CT as, and I will drop all these things inside a CT. Now, after dropping all the things inside the CT, just I have to give a filter condition. So select start from my CT where my rank, because I have given the rank function, so a rank thing to the alias, so this rank is equal to one. So now it's giving me Zomato also, because Zomato will be also be there. But point is that we only want the things that have made profit. So we'll drop one more condition and profit must be greater than zero. Now, if we run this, we are getting an exact output. Best buy date, best sell date. So yeah, this is the question all about. Hope you enjoyed it. If there is anything that you want more or anything that is that you are facing issue when I'm telling the question, you can ping me. And that's all for the day. Thank you. Thank you so much.